Pinot Noir and Chardonnay do fantastic in the Santa Lucia Highlands because it's a cool climate. I mean, these grapes really struggle to ripen in this appellation. We're right next door to Monterey Bay. It's windy, it's foggy. We have ridiculously poor soils and really forces the grapes to work. Produces little tiny clusters with little berries of intense flavor. The luxury that we have here is time because weather is amazing here. As a winemaker, when you have the luxury of time to pick when you want, you're kind of like a kid in a candy store. The fog, the ocean keeps us very cool in the summertime. It's our natural air conditioning. The winds literally roar through our valley and shut down our vines to give us a nice, long, extended growing season. The wines from the Santa Lucia Highlands, they're super lush and they get a lot of fruit forwardness. Well, there's quite a generational aspect of farming here in the Highlands. I've been here 32 years and I would not be considered a local. We have this incredible jewel here that we should preserve for the future generations. You still get some of that uniqueness and feel that you may have been able to experience 30 years ago. Where you get the proprietors behind the tasting bar, and really the true experience of the wine growing and wine making. One of my favorite aspects about the San Lucia Highlands is the people. I mean, we're farmers, we make things and we grow things and we produce things. 